Hey guys, it's Will here with a Wednesday update. Coming back after a few weeks. Um, if you guys want to kind of know what's been going on, why this, these have been delayed, please check the last video that's been posted about what's been going on. But we're going to be taking a look here at the shelves, and we have finally today our new mem newest member of the family. Hi, I just came out of the washroom. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. I'm doing the great, I'm doing the weekly updates. Why don't you? Love it show us what books are out that you think is the coolest. I think the X-Men are definitely the coolest because that series is the bomb right now. And I love X-Men. And then, I'm sure a lot of these are great, but I just so happen to not be reading a lot of these. <laughs> but mainly the X-Men. I hear Kylo Ren's great. And Venom is also awesome because Venom is just awesome. So Venom is awesome. That series has been great. I have been reading through some of those. So I have still to catch up on them though. So, so a little soon. impromptu interview. What yes. do you read, though? What would you recommend in any book series to our, our friends and family? Are we talking any that's ever existed ever? Or are we talking, like, what's out right kind now? Of, you like, what's out, what you've read, like, where would you... What mm. would books would you recommend? What series would you recommend? Because if we're talking any ever... I have to think about this. <laughs> this is so so on the spot. Okay. Because uh, my some of my favorite comic books include... I mean, a lot of Batman, A Serious House on a Serious Earth, uh, a lot of the Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale stuff. Long Halloween, Dark Victory, in my personal opinion, is like the best crime thriller mystery ever told in a comic book. Um, hmm, what else am I reading right now? I just finished reading, uh, I'm reading through Deadly Class. That's going on still. Deadly Class is really awesome if you like kids that kick butt and also worry about kid stuff like does this girl like me and can I stab this guy and can I kill this thing regular kid worries yeah so that's <laughs> always fun um yeah what else I'll have to think about it oh the Wonder Woman's I forgot about that the Wonder Woman Dead Earths right now are awesome I've been reading through those those are Dead fantastic uh, it's like the post apocalypse uh, post, <laughs> post apocalypse with Wonder Woman but some of the best designs I've seen for some of those characters like Cheetah looks super cool and I love the art style and I love the world and I'm also a sucker for post-apocalyptic things so those have been fantastic you should read those definitely yeah. all right well thank you Jordan we'll probably pass by you later we're gonna continue our tour of the store and catch sounds up good. with people what's been going on I'm gonna work you do that <laughs> you do book stuff sounds good I so think yeah. yeah just yell that's what we do. Also, Umbrella Academy. It's like sugary cereal, but I love it. <laughs> it's the it's the Lucky Charms of comics. It is. Oh boy. All right, so. It's better than the show. Some would disagree. We're gonna flip through here. We got uh, so some of the books like he talked about. Got Cat, awesome Catwoman variant. What are you doing over here, Batman? Get off Ash. Ash is best. Dollhouse. Got some Green Lantern season two. Look at this awesome Flash variants. Immortal Hulk's been just killing it for Marvel. Got Captain Marvel Nebula, which looks cool. New Mutants. Got this cool Star Wars uh, Bounty Hunters book. So it's like Boba Fett and the guy from Target Vader kind of teaming up together. Uh, of course, Ruby. Punisher Soviet continuing the Max storyline. Star Wars Kylo Ren, which has been hella dope guys wanted books about the new universe that D Disney has brought in so after like the last like episode 6 that's a book to read then we got a really cool Thor which if you guys want, uh, read War of the Realms and stuff and the new Thor like that number 1 it is the best Thor so if you wanted to get into Thor and didn't really know if there was a cool spot to start would highly recommend those Thors they are pretty good. And then, of course, we got another sort of Spider Island, Venom Island, and Wonder Woman. So that, we're going to go over here. It's our shelf of facsimiles, if I said that right, and Black Label. Look for those. There's that Wonder Woman. Then again, for all you parents that watch this show that have kids, this is our kids' sort of single issues, just right in front of the parent stuff. So as they're looking for, you're looking for books, they can too. And these two columns right here is where all our kid graphic novels go, and then our overstock of Archies and little ones go on to this one. So that, we're gonna come up to the front, how we normally end it. I'm currently working on thinning the shelves here. Jordan's doing some book stuff, Woo! and Mike has left for the day. So we got free reign of the store. This month's theme, we are doing a women in comics 
writers, artists, anyone who kind of like helped make a book come to life. So these are all the ones that we have left that we have chosen. And of course some white dwarfs because there's no real space because again as you guys saw in the last video this is what's taking priority over the new graphic novel shelf which I deem to think is a worthy enough to take its place. So again if you guys want to know about what happened to that please check the last video all the information will be on there. Uh, keep an eye on our Facebook page. We'll be posting on that about what's going on and any information that if the family wants to share about that. Then lastly here we got our board of dues for this month. Again we got our Age of Sigmar tournament on the 28th and 29th. You still got till this Friday 8 p.m. to hand in a physical list of 1500 points for Age of Sigmar using the community war scroll builder app. It's free, does all the math for you. You just save it and print it and bring it in with your $10 fee and you'll enter our weekend long tournament where you can win a Stormcast Eternal Army. With that we got um, other stuff going on. We got Pioneer on Fridays, uh, rotating out with Standard and Modern and uh, Draft. We got Pioneer on Tuesdays now so that's replacing Standard and then of course on Sunday on the 8th we had Legacy so the next Saturdays or next Sundays, my, my fault on that. We'll have Commander, and on the 29th again, there'll be no Commander because that will be taken over by the Age of Sigmar tournament, which next tabletop tournament will be 40k, we'll be rotating between 40k and Kill Team. So for one day weekend tournaments and two day weekend tournaments. Uh, lastly, I don't think there's much else I can think of. There's no pre-releases this month. There will be, I believe, pre-releases next month for uh, the Beasts, the Realms, the Realm of Beasts, the Ikora place. So with that, uh, of course D&D is on Thursdays. My table has a big event on Saturday for, next Saturday for D&D. So you guys will hear the Carnage report on that and the recap of what's been happening. The whole campaign that started it all here, three years running. With that, we'll see you guys in the next video. And we hope you all have a good day. Also Jeff Lemire's Joker, that's the other one I was thinking. That's a really good one. It's written by one of our Canadian gems. You should read it. It's great. Okay, goodbye. Zoom in.